Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today we're going to take a look at my brand new multimeter that came in the mail today. This is the NT9205A. Um, I do believe it's made by this company NT. Oh, I picked this up because I actually got, it's almost identical, it's got the same model number except it's made by Excel. And I've been using this for about two, three years now. And I mean, by using it, I mean I use the heck out of this thing. A couple dozen times a day, usually. And what's happening is the power buttons start to, starting to wear out. Sometimes it doesn't want to turn on. Sometimes it doesn't want to turn off. you got to play with the button. But uh, not too disappointed about that. I only paid like $14 for this when I got it. And I expected, you know, for how much I use them, it wouldn't last forever. So I looked the model number up because I liked it. And this particular one they were out of, but they had this one that had the same model number. Um, you can see right there, DT9205A. It's just made by another company. And I did notice this one has um, a temperature. You can put a temperature probe on here. This don't. But I didn't have the probe for it. I've never used it, so I didn't care about that. And... Uh, <clears throat> Pretty much it has everything else and it's almost the same. So let's uh, open it up and take a look at it. Oh, we've got our test leads. Oh, these actually got little protectors on them. That's neat. Yeah, they just pull off. Um, I've actually got some really, really good test leads. So these I probably won't even open them. You know, came with an instruction manual. <laughs> Not a whole lot to it, just has the specifications on it, but I pretty much know all that stuff anyway, so let's, see, let's just throw them back in the box. All right, well, let's open it up first. Here, it's just a smidgen smaller. <coughs> it's about the same thickness it's just not quite as tall it's mostly the screen is just slightly smaller but that's no big deal it's still a pretty good size screen otherwise mostly it looks the same as my other one whoa don't need to break it before I use it do we all right got her opened up yeah just like my other one, it's got the little stand, so you can stand it up. That's nice. And there's where the battery goes. Oh, here's the big question. Did they include a battery with it? Because I didn't see one in the box. Oh, yes, they did. There we go. So, this will test continuity. It'll test resistance. It's got a transistor tester on it has the AC and DC voltages. You can test capacitors. That's real handy. I actually use that quite a bit. Then you can test your your amps, AC and DC. That's handy to have too. Well, it's built pretty good. I mean, this one was 13 something and um, actually I'll put, um, if you look in the description below, you'll find a link to my website. If you go there, I'll uh, have some more pictures of this, but I'll also have some links to where I got this. And like I said, they're inexpensive and they work really good. And I don't like buying real expensive meters. I've got a really good one. I don't use as much because you know, <laughs> crap happens once in a while. You hook something up wrong and pop goes the meter. So I can use one of these cheap 13 to $15 meters. And if it gets broke, who cares? <laughs> All right. Well, I think we'll wrap this product review up. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and hook any components and stuff up to a test it. Um, they generally test these in the factory, and it does say it passed the QC, the quality control. So, well, I'd like to thank you for joining us here at the Z Hut today. I hope you have a great day.